Hi, and welcome to the Stacked Horizontal Bar Graph Customization Tutorial. Let's get started by going to our Project Panel, go to our All Graphs folder, and select our Horizontal Stacked Bar Graph folder. Double click to open the Render Comp, which is right here, Horizontal Stacked Bar Graph Render. Just to give you a quick overview of this timeline, we have a camera layer, which is animating, sort of rotating our chart here. We have our two main titles, which can be edited here. You can double click on any text layer. You can type your text here. You can change the color, the font, or the size in our character panel. We also have our all caps option uh, selected. Um, if you deselect it, your text will be reverted back to its original formatting when you typed it in. So we're going to keep it at all caps. And on these text layers, we have a layer style applied. And this is our drop shadow. So if you go into your drop shadow settings, you can change the color and you can change the, um, the size if you like. We also have um, two wipes that are transitioning this animation out. And those are geometric wipes. And one is applied as a track mat, an alpha mat, inverted alpha mat, um, on the background pattern and on our background layer. Let's get started with animating, actually entering our data. So go to the Enter Horizontal Stack Bar Graph Data Comp, double click that, open it up. And in here we have our bar graph, our line. We also have these categories, which can be um, edited. You can just double click on those layers and type in your text there. If we go to our bar width space symbol size uh, control layer, so layer number 12, we go to our effects controls, we have all kinds of uh, customization options. We can make those bars wider. We can control the space between the bars. We can control the number size, make those real big or make them smaller. We can select a suffix or a prefix to each number. So if you want to change any of those uh, suffix or prefix uh, numbers to a symbol or a letter, uh, you want to double click on, we'll double click on this type prefix to here layer. And let's just say change that to a pound sign. If we change that one, it will change all of our prefixes. So our next options are to turn on or off these bars. So you can have up to 10 bars. If you want to turn some on, you just uh, click on these checkbox layers. And then from here, you can change the space between bars and fit all those into the graph and then change the bar width. So you have a few customization options here. So if we go to our bar and number colors layer, um, you can just change the text and symbol color here using this color picker. There we go. And to change any of these category bar colors, you're going to go to the category label 01 change color here layer. Go to the effects controls panel, go to the color control and you can change the color of that category. So to edit our data, you're going to go to the enter stack bar data here 01 layer. Go up to our effects controls panel. You can set the maximum value here. So you can actually change that for all of these. And it, it did change it, but we'll show you why it's doing that. So we can start entering our values here um, in the enter stack bar data here 01 uh, layer. Hit U on your keyboard to bring up our keyframes. And the first thing we're going to do is double click on the second keyframe for our enter bar data 01. This is going to enter the value of our, the total value of our bar. So let's say it's um, 20. As you can see, our number moved, but our values that we have for each category are adding up to more than 20. So we need to make each one add up. We need to make them add up to 20. So we're going to change the values here. There 
There we go. And so each category, you can customize um, the value for each one, but they all need to add up to whatever the overall value for that bar is. I hope that makes sense. So you repeat that for each bar. And uh, if you go up to your effects controls panel with that, uh, any of these bars selected, you can't actually turn off uh, any of these categories. Since, it's, since it is a stacked graph, you can just have two categories here, or you can have three. And like I said, as you can see in the preview, you can have four. 